Well, this is one of the stories that I believe has been doctored from Italy and we have to come out and obviously rebuff or refute it because that's where it deserves to be. It serves to be in the dustbin and I don't want anyone to come here and obviously tell you that it's one of those deals that Arsenal really looking at. Though, stories from Italy have gone here to show to us that Arsenal are leading the rest to sign in a man known as Adrian Rabio, right? Adrian Rabio, a 28-year-old player from Juventus, free agent and he's really looking in for the best um he's really looking in for the best offer over i've been told of his offer and what he wants i'm gonna be breaking it down and see whether it really comes in line with the what arsenal really willing to offer for this man known as adrian rabio welcome to this channel we are powered by mono gadgets 256 you know mono gadgets are dealers in phones and um laptops if at all you really want one guys dial plus two five six seventy double nine double eight double six double sorry plus two five six seventy double nine double eight double six five that is mono gadgets for you and we anticipate that the best is really going to be coming in through as expected into the mix now don't call that number that you see on the lower right bottom corner when you don't need a gadget right if you need a phone and a laptop brand new all used call that number don't call those people you know asking them for my number secondly asking them for betting tips because they are really our proud sponsors and call them only when you need a gadget either a phone a laptop and so on and so forth into the mix so that is what mono gadgets is all about you can as well go on x sorry on tiktok and follow them <clears throat> at mono gadgets and you can see the wide range of their products that they've gonna hit to offer to the um to the public all right so let's not really try to misuse what we're really having by really asking them my number i don't know what you guys need my number for why do you want my number when i'm live streaming you guys have never come up and obviously called in for my number and i've always told you that we can talk through the whatsapp group that has been created for this channel but most of you are really acting like people who are really dumb you know don't be dumbfounded men try to really act sane and prudent right so let's leave it at that and let's get into the other stories that we're going to be talking about somerville deal done and conor garaga is really given all transfer deadline has been set by the team that wants him that is atletico madrid if you don't really get this deal done by a certain date we are not gonna come in through to push for that to go to the next level that's what we're gonna hit to gate from the man himself known as diego simeone and the people at atletico madrid now let's go eyes hope you guys are really ready for this one now gazetti um it's known as Gazzetti della Sporto, right? From Italy, have told us that Adrian Rabio has many suitors with Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, uh, and uh, Arsenal in pole position. The player, the player views playing in Champions League as essential at his next club. Now, you know, sometimes you look at stories and ask yourself, where is it coming in from? And I tell you, such stories. Of linking players like Rabio to Arsenal are really doctored by his agent because the agent is not really seeing a volume of teams showing interest to sign the player. That is it. And I think it is as a result of limited interest that has gone ahead to find such such people being linked to the club of Arsenal. But when you look at Arsenal progressing to go in for Merino right now, there is no way they can go in for the guy called uh, this guy because they almost have the same attributes the guy is left-footed right um <coughs> adrian rabio is left-footed and merino is left-footed they are all in the same age bracket you know they have almost the same experience in as far as playing is concerned you get though merino is gonna hit to win more than adrian rabio and if arsenal wanted to get in rabio they would have gone ahead known to really go in for a player who has a price tag tagged who has a price tag on his head like merino because arsenal has to spend in excess of 30 million euros to get in a player and when you look at the requests that this guy is really calling in for it's just 160,000 pounds a week you know if you have to convert that into 30 uh into 30 million pounds 
how much money are you going to be saving? Because that means every month you're going to be spending um mm, that is 32. You're going to be spending 640,000 pounds a month, you know? Meaning that in a year, you cannot even spend more than 10 million pounds for a player that you went ahead to get in on a free. And if at all there was interest for us to know in the player, they wouldn't have gone ahead to come in for a player when they're going to spend that much and then pay him a salary. You understand? You know? So for me, I refute this story. I don't see it as a real story that Arsenal is leading the rest to sign Labio. That is really out of... Um, it's really out of the rich, you know, and for anyone who was going to put out that story, I think it's really having a pressure coming in through from the agent of a side called Rabio, the mother known as Veronica, you know her very well, is the mother to Adrian Rabio, and she doubles as the agent to the player, and uh, his character has always gone ahead, obviously coming through, and be uh, downplayed by very many people in the football business that the mother is the orchestrator of the failure of his son hitting his ceiling because the mother does a lot of really poking her nose in things that are neither her business. So I don't think that Arsenal is in for this guy. And why would they be in for Rabio? You get? Because he's a left-footed player and Arsenal is going in for left-footed player in Merino. I told you when Arsenal was being linked to uh, Fabian Rose, I told you that it's not going to happen because... If they were in for Fabian, why would they go into the level of agreeing personal terms with Merino? I tell you, if Arsenal is to bring in another midfielder, it has to be a CDM, pure CDM, like uh, Bruno Gumares and very many others. So, for this guy, <coughs> Adrian Rabio, I refute it. And I don't see him anywhere close to the Sobha Reality Training Center and the Emirates. And the interest is not there. And if the interest was there, this would have gone ahead to be the easiest deal for us not to do. I tell you, it would have gone ahead to be the easiest deal to do. And these other teams that has been linked to him are the likes of Real Madrid. I believe Madrid can obviously act out something special for this lad. Why, can, why should they act out something special? Because you all know. Because we all know the truth. And what's the truth? The truth is written all over the world that they're going to have to lose Tony Cross and they don't have money to get in a player that fits the levels of Tony Cross. But you can get in a player like Adrian Rabio who can come in through and obviously unite with his fellow French players at the club of Arsenal, the likes of Chiomini, Kamavinga, and Kylian Mbappé to obviously form a very good side. And I won't be surprised if at all he goes ahead to play for the side of to play for the side of Real Madrid or Atletico Madrid. That is it. But linking him to Manchester United has also been really good, you know. And um, as it stands, linking him to Manchester United is one of the deals that I don't see happening because Manchester United is looking in for Ugate and Amrabat, you know. And if there were any possibility of United coming or wanting to send the player, they would have gone ahead to go for him fast. Why going him for him fast? Because the player is a free agent. And tell me a team that will take years to obviously sign a free agent. I tell you, if the player was readily available, sorry, if the player was really needed and the appetite was high at Manchester United, he would have already gone ahead to obviously be a United player. And that amount of money is really calling in for is really very, very little for Manchester United for what they want to term well as their wage bill and 160,000 pounds a week for free agent, I think it will act well for the club of Manchester United and no one is really going to stand in the way of a person to obviously get himself this player. So I don't believe that he's anywhere near Arsenal or anywhere near Manchester United, but I won't be shocked if at all he goes to Real Madrid, one, if at all he goes to teams like Newcastle, two, if at all he goes to teams like Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid or Chelsea, I want to be shocked. And anyone talking about Champions League football is just a joker into this story because Champions League football doesn't matter for a player like Adrian Rabio because he has left a club that has Champions League football, that is Juventus, to come in through to look for a club. All what is flaunting is money. 
He has left Juventus because they're not willing to meet what wage bill he wants as a player and his sign-on fee. You understand? Now, all what he's looking for is money and teams with that money are there. He will obviously find himself playing for a certain club, either in the Premier League, La Liga, and in the Serie A. I'm finding it hard to see a club that can meet his request, but never say never in these transfers because anything can happen hugely and you will be like, oh, I never saw it coming, but it finally comes to your pass or into your into the face into your face and you will obviously recognize and understand oh oh my god it has got it obviously coming through and really happen that way so that is the man himself known as rabio linked to us know that us not really leading the rest something i don't really give the best of my knowledge to obviously be sunk into it because i see it as something that is really a falsehood and i see no way arsenal really turn around to get in a second midfielder because the plan has always been arsenal is interested in one central midfielder we all know that arsenal is interested into one central arsenal is interested into one central midfielder and we all know who that central midfielder is going to be. It's going to be Mikel Merino coming in through from Rio Sociedad. So I don't see that happen. And I'm not really optimistic of it to Arsenal. But he might find himself really doing the needful for other teams all over the world to really put in the required shift altogether for him. So let's leave it at that. And uh, let's obviously hate to the side of Atletico Madrid. You know, this man has been linked to Atletico Madrid, but Atletico Madrid is really chasing him for a different player altogether. And it shows you that maybe his chances to join Atletico Madrid are also limited because we all know that Atletico Madrid is in talks with Chelsea to sign a player called uh, Conor Garaga, right? They are in talks with... Um, mm, they are in talks with... Um, um, they are in talks with Chelsea to sign Conor Garaga. And now, Atletico Madrid have come out and really set what we call a transfer deadline. And they're like, if you go beyond this, we are not going to come in through to obviously get this deal. We are getting out of the deal and moving out to the next player. And we don't know whether the next player is going to be Adrian Rabio. But the fact is, Fabrizio Romano, one of the tier one journalists we're having in the land, has told us that in new round of talks today between Chelsea Conor Garaga and his agents. Chelsea don't want another Rudiger case with important player leaving as free agent. Atletico Madrid insists on players' decision by end of the weekend. So, today is Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday, right? So, if there is anything you want to know about this, <laughs> it's Atletico Madrid. They are really very serious about what they are doing and they really understand the business that they're hugely doing because if they never understood the business they were doing you wouldn't have gonna hate to find it very 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 okay for them to set a deadline but the moment a team comes out and sets a deadline it's like sending a warning to you that please gate in class because we want to sign your player but we have other alternatives that are really willing to come to us and though your player is a priority and you people have gonna hate obviously not get him in and get the decision made then we are getting and moving on remember this was not their target you know on the list the first person on their target on the list was none other than um, what was his name he was called Mikel Merino they wanted to sign Mikel Merino from the side of um, a Rio Sociedad and Arsenal went ahead to obviously go ahead and they went ahead to obviously win everything and they want they've gone ahead to convince the guy and the guy is there to go right so the guy has just to go to arsenal and now atletico madrid is in for corner garaga and they're telling chelsea please by sunday no decision made we are pulling out of the deal i like the attitude you know and the swag that atletico madrid has gone ahead to obviously get into this because they are like don't act like you are selling and you're not selling. If you are selling, let's get onto the round table and do the needful. We've already gone ahead to agree personal terms with the player. Then why are you standing in his way? 
you get. And for Conor Garaga, he's leaving Chelsea not because they haven't gone ahead to offer him a new contract, but they're offering him a contract of two years with a further addition of one year. And Conor Garaga is that is like, if you're not getting me four years, then I'm not going to be here. I would rather go to a club that is seeing a lot of value in me and is willing to offer me that huge amount of money or that huge contract that I really want. So that's the case for the man known as um what's his name Conor Garaga and Atletico Madrid Chelsea have to obviously come up and really make a decision on whether they're gonna be letting the guy go or not and tomorrow we'll be like telling you the truth on what is going to hit to transpire on the Conor Garaga transfer deal then on the 1st of August this month Fabrizio Romano <coughs> came out and told us that Crescencio, Somerville, to West Ham, here we go. Deal is in place between clubs for package in excess of £25 million with add-ons. Somerville agreed on long-term deal, and he also spoke to Le Potogui ahead of the move. Leeds United accepted the proposal, and he's now set to sign. So, after that story, uh, he went ahead, obviously, to undergo his medical. I think it was around Wednesday. <laughs> and finally, he has gone ahead to sign his papers. As revealed to us by Fabrizio Romano today, that Somerville has just signed his contract as a new Western player, deal valid until June 2029, with an option for a further season. And now, I believe all the potential that we saw in Somerville that had not gone ahead to obviously come out to the public eye is really going to be coming out because Somerville is a very, very talented player. And I believe that Lopotegui is going to come out and obviously get the best out of the player as we've gone ahead to say to it that he has gone ahead to improve a lot. When you look at likes of Falkura coming in through, uh, they want to obviously get in Aaron Bisaka. They already have players like Edson Alvarez, um, Ward Prowse, uh, Gerard Bowen. I believe this guy is really going to be playing alongside more better talented players and you know iron sharpens iron in this business quality complements quality and i believe somerville is really going to make himself reach his ceiling and i tell you in the next two or three years he's not going to be playing at west ham because before he went to west ham even teams like liverpool you know where being linked to the player it shows you the quality and how he's being scouted and teams like liverpool are like all right Let's leave him come in through and prove himself at West Ham. And when he hits the ground running and really has all gates eye, our eye back, we are going to come for him. You get? So that he's the man on us, Somerville for you. But he's really good. I love the player. He can play across that front line. Can play as a left forward, right forward. He can also play as a false number nine. And I believe he can play behind the center forward. That's how talented this guy is. But we just can't wait to see how this guy is really going to integrate him into the team of uh, West Ham. That is head obviously getting more and more players to get everything done and dusted. They really have some huge money to spend because you all know it that uh, they sold Declan Rice for 105 million pounds, right? And they have that money to spend. And I tell you what, it's really gonna be a very good day for him in there for you. So tomorrow or Monday. An announcement from the side of West Ham is really going to be made and we'll be knowing what shirt number this guy Somerville is going to be donning in at the club of West Ham. But all in all, they are really doing some good business and Nicholas Falkrug is one of those that has gone ahead obviously coming through and put in a very well required shift all together. So guys, thank you very much for watching through. This is Rokan David onto the Rokani Media Football and we are powered by Mono Gadgets. Mono Gadgets 256 are dealers in phones and laptops. Brand new phones and brand new laptops, right? So even if you want to use phones and use laptops, you can as well get them down there because they've gone ahead, obviously, uh, make themselves a name in really getting you the best of quality that you really deserve. If you feel like you want something special from them, WhatsApp them on plus two five six seventy double nine double eight double six five and you'll thank me later. You can as well WhatsApp them on the same number or go to TikTok and follow them at Mono Gadgets, right? They'll obviously show you the range of products that they really have into the mix. So that's what we had for you in here onto the Rokani Media Foot by call upon for your reactions into the comment section below about Rabio. 
to Arsenal free transfer. They are saying that Arsenal is leading the race of Adrian Rabio, and I've gone ahead to refute that. You've heard me very well. Then, what do you make about Somerville to West Ham? Dan and Dust had signed a contract of close to five years that will keep him at that side. And then, what do you make about um, the guy? Um, what do you make about uh, the situation of Conor Garaga? Will Chelsea meet the deadline of Atletico Madrid to let this deal be done and dusted? All that and more into the comment section below. We thank God for the gift of life and we thank Allah for the gift of life. And may the Lord God and Allah protect you throughout the night. We out. Bye-bye.